Oh yeah! Hello friends and followers and welcome back to a new project. This is the lawn mower, the lawn mower robot of my friend Sterni and he does not like the stupid orange of this lawn mower cover and he wants that it looks like a turtle at the end. I think this is perfect for YouTube. Step, Step one, one, sanding. sanding. I sand the surface by hand with 120 grit sandpaper. Sanding is so much fun. After a half of an hour of sanding, the whole surface is perfectly scratched. Time for the primer. Step to priming. We don't have to worry about enough colors. I have enough colors in my storage. Um, so now let's search some turtles. Step, Step three, three, design. design. Okay. Ah, this one looks beautiful. Oh yeah, but it, it's, a, it's an underwater. Underwater turtle. We, we need a land turtle. This one is cute. Ah, oh. <laughs> this one is cute. This turtle will be our reference turtle. Let's try to paint the mowing machine into this turtle. And then we have to think about how we make it with the head and the legs. But we will find a solution. Ah, oh, okay. Is it dry? It is dry. Perfect. Step four, painting. Oh yeah. I want to make the gaps between it in yellow to make it a little bit more pop out. And then I give the single shield parts a little bit of structure with a brush. And I think this looks pretty realistic okay let's do this first all around the shell the turtle shell as i haven't painted so many turtles in my life i try different techniques to get the most optimal result now let's put it in the grass so that we get a feeling if this looks like a turtle Oh, looks like something different, but I have a good feeling now. I have a good feeling now. Okay, in general I was happy, but there was still some room for improvements. So I took a brush and added some more fine details, some shadows here and there. I added some light reflections with a gray marker and softened them with a brush. And I had a really, really great idea. I used this net from the potatoes and gave the turtle some skin structure underneath the shell. Okay, I am pretty happy with the sh with the shell and now we want to design a head i hope that there is not a camera or something inside this hole because i want to make the, the, five, five, the head in this shape that is looking looking out of this hole more like like this <laughs> <laughs> this looks so funny already. I think I will make it from a piece of wood or something. I think I found a nice piece of wood. So, this is the basic shape. <laughs> oh yeah! 
Oh yeah! <laughs> I already like it. I already like it so much. <laughs> Look, <laughs> this fits perfectly. With the tools that I found in my workshop, I tried to get as close as possible to a more or less realistic shape of a turtle head. And I mounted it on a stand. Good. Now I will, I will ground it all so uh, that the spray paint does not soak into the wood so much. We have to build the legs. Step six, the legs. The back legs, the legs that will be here, I will attach them to the wheels so that we have a super realistic walking motion. <laughs> <laughs> like like the turtle would be running. So let's saw the back legs. The back legs. I don't know if this word exists at all. Is this back legs material? All this over there? Maybe some leftover wood? Yay! Perfect! The back legs. I'll put you over here for a new and cool perspective. Okay, this is a super cool leg shape. So now let's clean up first because I hate this chaos. While the feet are getting dry, we try to give the head a nice color. I think I will paint it a little, little bit how I think the turtle should look like. Maybe nature didn't make such a beautiful turtle like the turtle in my head. Step 7. Details. For all the tiny details, I will use uh, acrylic markers. Turtle looks a little bit like an alien already. While painting, I noticed that the turtle definitely needs more realistic nose holes. More realistic nose holes. Professional turtle head painters always use a thin coat of spray paint at the end to reduce the contrast of the pattern. So I do it as well. Delivery. Okay, three days later, I will put you in my trunk. Now, let's see what Sterni thinks about his turtle. After just five minutes of driving, I finally arrived at Sterni's little farm. Oh, I hope there is still enough daylight today for a little test drive. Sterni! Ich habe dir eine Schildkröte mitgebracht. Hi! Na? So. Tada! Oh, das ist ein Stück Holz. Das sah aus wie ein Stück Wurf, glaube ich. Nein, das ist ein Stück Holz. So we directly went into the workshop where we already made different other creative projects, <laughs> like turning Sterni's bike into an eagle, or after crashing the eagle into a more solid, rusty metal version. But now back to our lawnmower project. Step 9. Assembly. We attached the legs with some screws to the shell so that they were even able to make a realistic walking motion. And then we hurried to use the last daylight for the test drive in the garden. Step 10. Test drive. With a gentle touch, Sterni 
pushes the mowing turtle into its new home. A wonderful garden with enough lawns and an ejected wetland biotope. You can see straight away that the mowing turtle feels extremely comfortable in its new natural habitat. The mowing turtle happily mowed its way towards the sunset. Okay, friends and followers, I hope that you liked this funny little project. Uh, I don't think that the legs were the best idea, but uh, in general, I hope you were a little bit entertained. Please don't forget to like the subscribe button and we see us in the next project. I'm sending some love. <laughs> <laughs>